I think, you know, transformation is a key theme that we all have to take in mind. We actually have a phrase internally within our company around what got you here won't get you there. We've done huge business model transformations for us and shifting the software and services and those kinds of things, but it's not going to actually, what made us successful today is really not what's going to make us successful in the future. Well, the problem with technology is ruthless. The techno un unlike other industries, technology takes no prisoners. I mean, and if you miss it, if you miss a trend, uh, the implications are devastating. So with that, let's shift into kind of the idea around innovation. Certainly IBM is a company around innovation. Hitachi is as well. We're spending billions a year in R&D in the good times and bad. What's your take on kind of the importance of innovation and kind of how that actually shapes your future? I have a deep, deep passionate belief that you have to have an act two. Uh, act one won't get you to the future. IBM's on like our fourth act. What's 100 years, you, got, you should be on at least three acts, right? <laughs> uh, technology cycles are tend to be between 15 and 20 years. But, but you need to have an act too. The reason why that's important because it takes you a long time to get there, and usually there's a lot of investment to get there, right? There is no such thing, in my opinion, at least in technology, which I know very well, a transformational acquisition. And I can take you to the history of 50 years of large acquisitions, and they've all failed in technology. Therefore, you need to have a point of view, yep. and you've got to get there. And my point, Andy, anyway, is that you know, we, if you believe that you've got to get to the future, you have to give yourself financial flexibility. That's what I just said. You have to give yourself financial flexibility, and then you have to convince your constituencies that it's real, because you can't lose your shareholder. I mean, we were a public company. I didn't believe I had the luxury of standing up saying, I'm betting on the long term. Yes, I have no earnings, but I, I have no earnings, but I'm betting on the long term, and you should invest in me. We weren't Amazon, right? <laughs> and this is IBM, you know, as I used to say. When you're IBM, if you're 100 years old, you're a duck, quack like a duck. You know, they don't expect us to act like a young startup with no profit or 1% operating margins, you know, right? They expect us to generate real cash, real returns, real dividends, real share buyback, and I'll do those things too. That's why I think it's so important because it, you have to bring people with you. And, and you need to, if you don't have your investors as a CEO, you don't have a job. So you have to bring them with you. That led to the long-term roadmap.